All right, here we're going to be doing a demonstration of a tension relieving suture called a near far, far near. Every now and then you may find yourself in a situation where the skin closure will result in a little bit of tension, but it will close. You can do tension relieving incisions, etc. but in this case we've decided that we think we can close this with just a, using a tension relieving suture pattern. I will just let you know that this is a cadaveric specimen that we are using here. So for a near far, far near, the suture pattern goes as per the name. So we're using a, taking the first bite is near. I would normally use a cutting needle. Uh, this is just donated out of date for the purpose of the demonstration suture. Probably helps if I do cut it off from my last demonstration. Okay, so we've gone near. Our next bite is going to be the far component. So we come straight across, perpendicular to our incision. Go right through the dermis. So take a decent far bite. So here we are taking the far bite. So that's the near, and that's the far. Our next bite is far, so we come across to the opposite side, and we're staying in a line that is perpendicular to the cut incision. We're going far, right through the dermis. It's not going through easily because it's not a cutting needle. So we've got near, far, now we've done the far component. My last bite is going to be near, and once again, we're keeping uh, everything lined up perpendicular to the incision site, and we go near. Okay, so now we will um, tighten that up. You can either use a slip knot or a double throw, surgeon's throw here. As we tighten this up, I've got, I need to have both my short end and my long end on the same side. Okay, that's better. As we tighten up, the two near components will allow for apposition of the skin edges. The two far components of the bite help take tension off this cut edge. And then finish off the knot, and it's always nice to set that knot just slightly to one side of the cut incision. So as it oozes any serum, we don't clog up the knot. So that's a near far, far near tension relieving suture. These are second hand or single use instrumentation, just cutting that off. We would then repeat anywhere else uh, where we felt we needed to take a bit of tension off, so we might come here and we might do another one there. And then we would intersperse with just simple interrupters, interrupted sutures to create nice apposition along the whole length of the incision. You would find up these more tapered ends where there's very little tension that you don't need to put these far, near far, far near sutures in.